Facebook is rolling out a new metric in the interface, and while it's not directly related to your ad performance, it is tangentially related. Opportunity score is a new metric that Facebook is using to try and help advertisers understand how closely they're following meta ads advertising best practices. Now, if you run campaigns on Google, this is going to feel very similar to optimization score. If you're interested in whether or not that has any value, you can check out this video right here. But for today's video, we want to walk through Facebook's new opportunity score, show you what types of suggestions it'll give, and then discuss when you may and may not want to use it. We're going to start off in a live client account because if you don't have campaigns active, there's nothing for Facebook to recommend. So we do have to have a decent amount of this video blurred out, but we'll try and make sure that you still understand everything that's going on in here. There are going to be two places that you'll be able to see information about your opportunity score in the Facebook ads business manager. First is going to be up on the campaigns tab. You can see up by the account name, we have opportunity score up here. Right now, this account is at 59 and you can see a little dial there that clearly shows that we're only a little bit over half for this one. Now, the other place that you can find all of this information, this is where it's going to be a little more robust, is on the account overview tab. And here we actually get a little bit more insight about what that 59 means. So in this blue box, you can see here on a zero to 100 point scale, this represents how many recommendations you've applied to optimize your ad accounts campaigns, ad sets, and ads. When I clicked the next button, it opened up this other blue box over here. It says points are personalized based on how valuable a recommendation may be for your ad account. These points are based on factors like your campaign objective, business profile, campaign characteristics, and budget allocation. So overall, that gives an insight into what opportunity score is. It's a numeric value on a 100 point scale that's basically just supposed to tell you how well you're following Facebook's best practices when it comes to your campaigns. But all of the recommendations that they provide are going to be, as they say, personalized, customized, all that good stuff. So there's other stuff on this overview tab, but the bulk of the beginning of it is going to be all of these opportunity score recommendations. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and here you can see three of the different recommendations that this account has. So first is going to be automatically optimize 10 eligible ads. This is saying that we would get two points if we added all of the text improvements and overlays and all that sort of thing when you opt all of your ad creatives into all of the bells and whistles for Facebook ads. The next is going to be using additional text options for five of the ads. Basically it's saying that we don't have as many text variations as it would like to use for these five creatives. And it says that we could get an additional two points if we were to go ahead and make some additional ad variations there. And the last one we're going to look at just because is that it wants us to combine ad sets impacted by fragmentation. What this means is that your ad sets have similar setups and creatives, but the audiences are different. Effectively, we're using multiple different ad sets to target different audiences, but keeping everything else the same. And Facebook says we could get up to 30 points if we remove this fragmentation, combine these ad sets together. That way we retain the same ad set level settings, except now we're combining all of the audiences that we have. And there's other options on this page, but again, I'm trying to make it so we don't have to blur out quite as many things. So instead, let's just take a look at this table that shows you the different types of recommendations you could see. First category is automated campaigns. This is basically anything related to the fully automated campaign setup in Facebook. These types of recommendations basically just say, set up a fully automated campaign. We'll use Advantage Plus app campaigns, get you a more streamlined approach and lower your cost per result. That's just an example but that category is going to be focused on just using automated campaigns. Next is objectives and goals. This is going to help you try and optimize your campaign setup, including the objectives and performance goals that you have. So if Facebook sees an opportunity in the ways that you have your goals and campaign objectives in place, it'll give you a recommendation to change that. In the example here, it wants you to select maximize the number of conversions, drive more customers and lower the cost per result. The next category is going to be around audiences. All of these recommendations are going to be focused on the audience that you're using. So in this example, even though it goes back into some of the automated stuff, they're going to say to use advantage plus audience because it might improve the performance of your campaigns. If we keep going down in this table, we've got a few other options here. Creatives and placements is the next category. We already saw one example of that in the ad account when it talked about adding more variants to the text that we had for the creative, but here's another one. 
in the middle of the screen right here, you can see that we could get a slightly lower cost per result by opting into the Reels placement for six different ads. In this example, all of these ads are opted out of the Reels placement, and Facebook thinks that we could get more performance if we opted into them. So this is another example of what that type of recommendation would look like. So anything in this category is gonna be based on what your ads are and where you're showing them. The next category is signals, which are related to your data quality and signal strength. You're gonna see a lot of recommendations here about using conversions API, adjustments with your Metapixel, all that good stuff. So this is all focused on the data that you have coming into the platform. With budget and bidding recommendations, pretty straightforward. They're gonna be talking about what your budget should be and what type of bidding strategies you should use. The example they give is the one that everybody loves to use. Performance looks really stable and really strong over the past few days maybe consider increasing your budget and scale your results. Wouldn't be surprised if almost every campaign sees that one. And then we've got one more adjustment down here at the bottom, and this just falls into all other categories. These recommendations are gonna be focused on errors and warnings, or any other recommendation that doesn't fit in any of the other categories. For an example that they give here is you can increase the value to your customer's messages when you respond within five hours, rather than waiting longer, few days to get back to them. Okay. So now that we know the different types of adjustments that we're gonna see, I wanna talk about how you can actually apply these recommendations to your campaigns. And I have these three highlighted on the screen because there are a few different ways that we can go about it. First, over here on the right, there's an apply now button for a couple of these. For this account, I am not going to apply any of these because I don't want to use them. But if you did wanna use it, all you would do is click that button and they would be applied right away. You might get a message that says, are you sure? Either way, just assume that this is the fastest track to implementing the recommendation that Facebook is giving you in this square. The next option is gonna to be to preview what these changes would be. Now, because these are talking about text improvements and overlays, by clicking this button, it's gonna open up the ad builder. It's gonna show you what all of those different ad enhancements look like. Just for the sake of not needing to blur anything out in this video, I'm not gonna click this button but effectively you'll be able to review and understand what these enhancements are gonna look like before you apply them and then effectively gain the two points that Facebook is saying you could get. Now these other two options have a different button. They say get started. Now because this is asking us to add additional text variants, clicking get started is effectively going to open up the ad builder for you so that you can go in and add additional text creatives to those ads. That one's pretty straightforward as to what it's gonna do. The combining ad sets impacted by fragmentation is a little less straightforward. When I clicked get started, it brought me to this window where it tells me that it's gonna turn off two of the ad sets that we have running, but it's gonna retain the best performing ad set. So effectively it's taking the three ad sets that it thinks have some fragmentation, it's turning off two of them, and retaining one. It shows over here off to the right what the deactivated ad sets are, and then it'll show all of the combined audiences down here below so that all of the audiences from each of these three ad sets is together. You then see that it's got the ad set schedule, and then all of the creatives from all of the ad sets are gonna be included. We're gonna come back to this in just a minute. Now, if we scroll up on the page, back up to kind of the top that we had on this overview tab, you'll notice that right now, there's this additional call to action here that says set up automatic adjustments. You've got the setup now button. That looks to me like a promotion to try and do this, but you'll see up in the upper right, there's also a setup automatic adjustments button that you can click here. Now for this, there's an easy toggle that you can turn on to automatically apply all of the recommendations for you. Definitely not gonna toggle that on, but then you can check boxes next to the different categories. Again, this is gonna feel very similar to a Google Ads optimization score automatically applied recommendation. For each of these, you can open this up and read maybe a little bit more about what it would be. So here, campaign structure, this is where we're trying to reduce auction overlap, reduce fragmentation, all that sort of thing. We can't see any of the pieces that would be in audience because they don't have any selected right now. But if you did, you can come in here open this box and see what those would look like. Creative and ad format. Again, we already talked about getting more placements, adding the text overlay, all that good stuff. So these adjustments are in here. And you could check the box next to either a specific category or you could opt into only applying the regular touch-ups, something like that. You'll see for each of these, there's then a schedule that wants to run daily. You can get a notification in Facebook. If you've opted into an automatic adjustment, you can click edit 
and then you can run this on whatever schedule you want. You can run it on certain days of the week, during certain times, you can even add a plus button so that it'll run multiple times on the same day. Whatever cadence you want this to run, you can do that, but all of your notifications are only going to come on Facebook. You cannot opt out of these, but you can also not opt into an email notification. Now, as I said, I don't want to apply any of these, but you can apply them automatically. And the reason I don't want to apply them automatically, but also when I teased that we would come back to something, one of the adjustments here is to reduce audience fragmentation. This would run daily or whatever your custom schedule is, and this is where it would combine the ad sets, audiences, and budget automatically for you. If I click cancel and go back to the adjustment that it gave us before, this keeps erroring out and won't show audience size or anything like that, which doesn't totally matter. But here's the biggest thing that you need to know. Our best performing ad set that Facebook wants to keep active is a remarketing ad set. In the turned off ad sets over here, one is Advantage Plus and one is an interest audience targeting only women. These are extremely different versions of audiences. One is people who know who we are, have engaged with either the website or the business profile before. A second is a subset of a prospecting audience focused on certain interests and targeting just women. And then the Advantage Plus is relatively broad. This is focusing only on our conversion action. We don't have any recommendations for targeting in here because it's been performing well without them. So if we were to accept this recommendation to get rid of audience fragmentation, Facebook would be combining our very broad prospecting with our targeted prospecting and our remarketing into one single ad set. That is terrible. And it does not make sense to me why it's flagging this audience as fragmented, considering they are drastically different audiences. I could potentially see how these two prospecting ones over here would be combined. That certainly makes sense to me, but including it with remarketing is just terrible. So that's why I would almost never opt into any of the recommendations being auto applied, unless it's something like the text enhancements or something fairly low stakes, but letting Facebook just combine all of your targeting together just because it thinks it could get you better performance. That sounds like a recipe for a really poorly set up ad account to me. Okay, so let's close out by talking about some frequently asked questions, and then I'll give you some of my thoughts as well. Again, this opportunity score is zero to 100 point scale, and it's impacted by how many recommendations you apply. That's all it does. But if we scroll down into some of these questions, does a higher score imply better performance? While Facebook says that their data back system says that when people apply the recommendations, they see improvement in their campaigns, that does not guarantee that making these adjustments will improve the campaign performance. If my score goes up by a specific number of points, will my performance metrics go up? No, very clearly, no. This is only a measure of how many of the recommendations from Facebook you've adopted in your account. Now, there are lots of other questions in here that if you need to, you can just Google search for Facebook's opportunity score. This is the FAQ section of their overview post about this. But effectively, when it comes to any of the optimization score, opportunity scores, whatever, on any of the platforms, Facebook has now grouped itself with the Google and Microsoft versions in my mind. When you see these opportunity score numbers in your account, yes, there is some benefit in paying attention to them. If you're not following best practices, or if there's something that you're clearly missing in your account, probably makes sense to at least look at it. Make sure that you're making a conscious decision to ignore that best practice and go a different direction. But in no way, shape, or form do I think it makes sense to opt your accounts into any sort of automated change for your company or for your clients. Facebook, Google, Microsoft, they do not interface with your accounts every day. They do not understand your specific goals in nearly the same detail that you do. They have lots of data on the back end that they can use to try and optimize using machine learning, but that does not mean that they're actually going to improve the metrics for your account and see better performance. I think opportunity score is a good improvement from Facebook. Personally, I regularly look at all of the adjustments that they recommend, decide whether or not to take action separate from their automatically applied system. But either way, it keeps me thinking about what the best practices are, what I could be doing to improve my accounts and try to see better performance. But in no way do I ever really care what that opportunity score number is. It could be 98 or it could be eight. That does not matter to me. All that matters is that I look at the recommendations, choose which ones are best for me and apply them, ignore the rest. 
Hopefully you now know what opportunity score is. You're willing to take a look at it, try to get some ideas, but you're also cautious about what you're actually gonna let the platform do for you. If you have any additional questions about opportunity score or anything else in the Meta Ads platform, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.